logistic facilities at Tanalang train station in Vientiane have begun to take shape after eight months of construction. According to a Lao railway official, the new facilities which will enable the train station to provide freight services are now some 23% complete. According to a Lao railway official, at present the train station only provides services to passengers who want to travel by train from Vientiane to Bangkok and back due to lack of the logistic facilities. Construction of the container yard and lifting facilities at the train station began at the end of last year and was scheduled to be completed within 18 months. The Lao government hopes to open the rail freight service ahead of the establishment of the ASEAN Economic Community. The Lao government considers the railway links with the neighboring country as one of the strategies to turn the nation from being landlocked into a becoming a land linked of the region. Thai government hopes to expand rail services to neighboring countries so they can increase trade and tourism exchanges. Thailand is one of Laos' largest trading partners. The Lao government also given the green light to Malaysian investors to build a 5 billion US dollar high-speed railway to link central Savannah Cape province with the Lao Vietnamese border over a distance of 220 kilometers. The government also plans to build a high-speed rail link from Vientiane to China. At present, the government is still in the process negotiating a loan agreement with the Chinese bank. The Lao-China high-speed rail project is a part of the China ASEAN Railway. The rail aims to increase trade value between ASEAN and China after the two economies began to implement the free trade agreement in 2010. Laos expects to gain benefit from the project as it will boost exports and investment in the country.